so this particular message is for the new interns you know how to read radiology or solve mcqs of radiology for neat exams fox you have just joined internship and uh, just fresh from you know all the subjects of mbbs and i know that uh, you were least exposed to the radiology department and during your uh, this internship also you will be given the least number of days for radiology department most of your postings will be in the clinical department many of you are intending like not to attend the internship but you know those who are attending the internship i would say when you are in the wards try to pay attention what your consultants are saying what your residents are doing you know try to go through the you know history papers bad history sheets and try to see which when and which investigation they are writing right you know you you might have seen you know at the head trauma patient comes first they, 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 they immediately ask go 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 get a ct done nccd done right when a stroke patient come if if mri is available in your uh, institute and they will say go get a diffusion mri done right fox so these are the certain things you know which you can catch up directly from the uh, you know your clinics or your observation only and once you know once you have thought of something and uh, some clinical diagnosis you have made by examination or by history or you have made or your consultant or your resident then also try to correlate with the radiology report whether that is matching or not and if it is it is not matching have a word with your clinician friend or the radiologist radiologist friend might be he is missing something ask him to particularly see no 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 we are suspecting this please have a look so this way you know certain um, common things you will never miss and they will fit in your mind forever right i've seen i i'm i'm in this profession since last 10 years i see you know all the you guys you know for the radiology at the end of the year just before your neat exams you all run for image based sessions and all you might think you know something will come from those okay definitely in those image based sessions you know n number of images are being covered but what happens you don't remember anything or some confusion will be there and at the end you are not able to mark the question correct so the idea is you know uh, at least while your clinical rounds clinical postings uh, try to remember at least common things at least investigations what we are uh, what you are ordering for that particular patient and why you are ordering and and you know try to make a note also you know suppose if some patient is come with right iliac fossa pain just uh, you know just also mention this thing uh, usg whole abdomen to rule out appendicitis okay so that radiologist friend will try to have a nicer look about the appendix and if he is saying uh, you know appendix is not seen or might be there is probe tenderness or something like that but on usc is not very sure then you might go ahead with cct or if he is very sure like you know nothing it's clear then you might not need to go for any other in, uh, imaging and clinically also you can work about it work up about it whether the pain is you know really you know tenderness is there leukocyte count is uh, you know tlc is raised and all so you know cl incorporating clinics along with the imaging is really helpful not only in it not only will help you in um, um, cracking the pg exam but also in your clinical practice in future like you know if you attend a gynec opd or anc opd they they many time you have seen what time they order for nt scan what time they order for um, what time they patient ask the patient to get an anomaly scan you will you will simply come to know yes yeah 18 to 20 weeks or at 12 13 weeks they are asking for nt or in dopplers what values they want why what location of placenta they are particularly paying attention to you know you these things you know nobody can teach you you can mug but you will forget but if you attend the clinics or if you are reading them with concept then definitely they are going to stay there for quite a long time since you are fresh interns it's really difficult to erase wrong concepts and to get new concepts but it's really easy to get correct concepts from the beginning so i wish you all the best you crack your exams in very first attempt have a positive approach don't think negative and always try to uh, uh, put your clinical knowledge in uh, each and every scenario wherever it is applicable thanks and all the best thank you